Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, this is Hopeful Chewbacca back at the Church of Chewbacca, and we're going to go over this giant baseball event. Uh, essentially, it has two Giants cards as a rewards, and I recorded this two days ago at, originally, and I didn't have my microphone on. So I recorded a whole video, I started to edit it, and I realized there was no sound, and then I just had been really busy, I hadn't got back to it, so I apologize for this being out a couple days later than it probably should have been, but here I am re-recording it. Let's go over this event. Before we do that, hit the subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, comment down below what you guys think about this event, as well as hit that notification bell so you know when I'm uploading more videos. Let's get into it. First off, let's go and see what the event info is, like what are the requirements. So for the requirements for this one, you can have finest series players, any player that's six foot four or taller, any player that weighs 260 or more. San Francisco Giants players can only have a max team overall of 98. It is on Hall of Fame. Six inning games, no quick count so it's just straight up counts and you're playing at AT&T Park now for the rewards it's just going to be a bunch of packs and then like I said two Giants cards there are some re rewind packs here at 60 and 80 I'm gonna do a two quick true reviews on the Rob Nen and the Willie McCovey let you guys know how good they are how not good they are so at 20 wins you can get this prime Rob Nen Let's pop in here and look at this card. So Prime Rob Nen here, you're looking at he's right-handed throwing, right-handed batting. He throws a four pitches on his pitch repertoire, four-seam fastball, slider, splitter, and curveballs. Four-seam fastball is going to go 99. He does not have outlier one, so it's only going to hit about 100 miles an hour. Looking at his slider, it's going to go 92 miles an hour. Splitter is going to go 91. Curveball is going to go 83. He has a little bit of a hitch in his pitch motion. When you're trying to hit against him, I think he's a little bit of a harder card to hit, my personal opinion. At least he was last year for his 92 overall. Looking at his attributes, he has 29 stamina, 101 hits per nine, 117K per nine, 81 base on balls per nine, 89 home run per nine, 124 pitching clutch, with 83 control, 97 velocity, 99 break. Personally, I don't think this Rob Nen's that great. You're looking at his attributes. They're not anything amazing at this point in the game for a closer. I don't think he'd make anybody's bullpen other than the fact that maybe you want to make a giant steam team. I'm going to give him two chewies. I mean, he throws it hard and stuff like that. But I mean, look at these attributes. They're not that great for this point of the game. So we're going to go with two chewies for this Rob Nen. Moving on to Willie McCovey here. He's 99 overall. Left-handed batting, left-handed throwing. Can play left field as well as first base. It's a signature series card. He's 99 overall. Diamond hitting, bronze defense. Looking at his attributes, 103 contact versus righty. 89 contact versus lefty, 116 power versus righty, 97 power versus lefty with 94 vision, 125 discipline, 96 clutch. For his fielding, 63 fielding, 61 arm strength, 68 arm accuracy, 60 reaction with 39 speed. Honestly, this McCovey's a pretty decent hitter against right-handed pitching, but he's still nothing special at this point in the game. If he would have came out, I don't know, in May... He'd be an absolute beast at first base. He does have a pretty decent swing, but it's another card if you're just trying to make a giant steam team. Giving us Willie McCovey, first baseman, not can't play anywhere else in the field, not that great at fielding. We're going to give him two Chewies as well. Neither of these cards in the event are that great. What I would really use this event for, if I'm being honest with you, is to prestige cards, especially pitchers since the pitching is on Hall of Fame. You should be able to get quite a bit of strikeouts, if I'm being honest with you. Boys, it's going to wrap up this quick review of the Giant Baseball event. Obviously, we did two quick true reviews as well. I didn't get too in-depth about the players. If you want to hear more about them, let me know. Or maybe I'll post something in the comments to let you guys know kind of what the stat line was for Willie McCovey. Maybe just give you a link to Baseball Reference so you can look it up. Kind of look at where I pull a lot of these statistics from anyways from the real-life career. But looking at it, McCovey, the Nen, really aren't that great. Use this event to practice Hall of Fame pitch speeds as well as prestige some of your other cards. That's, I think, what's best for this event, in my personal opinion. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video. I appreciate all the support you guys have given me, and I will continue to do baseball stuff. I promise you I'm working on a gameplay series. I'm going to start doing some 12-0 attempts for Battle Royale gameplay-wise. They just take a little bit longer to edit, and I don't want to be like, I'm going to try to do these daily and not have a little bit of a backlog in case something happens at work, something happens in my real life because my wife is pregnant. She's eight months pregnant, so there is a good chance that uh, my child could come a little bit early. Uh, you just never know with stuff like that. So I just don't want to not have any backlog. I want to make sure that I can keep those videos going, especially for the series that I want to knock out that I think you guys will enjoy that's based off of ranked seasons. Uh, at least until we get into MLB 20, the show 21. Also, if you guys have noticed, I've been doing a lot of NHL content. If you play that video game, check out some of those videos. 
As always, I appreciate all support, as I've already mentioned. You guys have a great day, and be safe.